Good day, one and all. My name is Kathy, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of the Scrap and Crafty Gardener. I've been organizing my stamps and dies today, so I've spent most of the morning uh, inking and organizing. And I came across this stamp, and I have put it in my new organizational system. Haven't labeled it totally yet, but. I have these stamps from Local Rubber King. It's called Pond Friends. It has five stamps and then five matching dies. And so I thought, I wanna play with this today because I also found this background stamp, uh, which is some water. I may have purchased this from Local King. I don't know, um, but I'll try and look it up and see if I can tell. There's no markings on the back to see where I got that from. But I, I found these two things and thought, great, I want to play. And then I pulled out a set I hadn't organized yet. Um, this is Oceans of Joy by Darcy's Heart and Home. And there's this little saying that says, hoping all your birthday fishes come true. So I thought those three kind of went well together. And then I'm also using some Hero Arts nesting circle dies. And I've already cut those out. But the biggest uh, toy of the day is this Local King uh, Rubber Stamp 60 Marker Set. You use these for the dies. So let's get started. Making my usual five by seven card. This measures 10 inches by seven inches. You score it at the five inch mark, fold it over and crease it with your bone folder. Now I have a piece of, this is glossy photo paper. You could just use regular glossy paper. This measures uh, four and five sixteenths by six and three sixteenths. And then I, I found this piece of blue in a photo, um, not a photo pack, a paper pack. It has a textured background and it's the color blue that I'm thinking of for the ocean. And this is the usual paper pack size of four and a half by six and a half. And so I wanna put those two together like this. And then I had this orange because I wanna do the fish um, these are beta fish, but I want to color them in the orangey colors of like a, a goldfish or a, a koi even. So I want to offset this with that. And since the orange was going to be hidden, I went ahead and cut out um, a circle and my sentiment die that I thought I'd put on the card. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start by um, doing the background stamp first. Now, I don't put this on my stamping platform because it is quite large. Um, but I do need my markers. And this is going to be water. Okay, let's get this open here. And when you're using the Local King markers on any stamp, um, you want to do three light colors. So I want... Um, three colors, one light, one medium, and one dark. So these are gonna be the colors of my water. So we'll set those aside for a moment. And you start with your lightest color. And you pretty much put the lightest color over the whole stamp. And there's no need to hurry. This, um, I believe her name is Lisa. She has a formula for these stamps, these markers that lets it stay on the stamp fairly well. I really don't need to do the whole thing because my paper's not that large, but I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. So I'm just coloring along. Now you take your medium color and you just kind of put it here and there. And you just really scribble. You don't have to do a lot of design elements with this. And I'm just gonna splish that around everywhere. Now I'm gonna take my photo paper and I'm gonna center it. I'm just gonna lay this on here and just press, rub it in. And voila, there's our water. Now I'll just clean this off with a little bit of water and I'm gonna use my real dirty rag here. And we're done with the background stamp. Now I do have another piece of photo paper and I'm trying to see where I set it here because I want to do the stamps. Here we go. I'm only gonna use two of the fish, I think. 
and I'm going to put some greenery at the bottom. So I am going to use my stamping platform for that. I've got a little bit of water there on my table. We'll clean that up. And these markers, when I got the markers, um, I went ahead and I marked on them the order that they were in the case so that when I go to put them back, I put them back in the same spot. Now let's move this off to the side. I'm going to put this in here and then there are the stamps. You could die cut out the foliage, but I just want to stamp it. And I'm just going to put a couple of these across the bottom. And we're not really stamping here. We're just coloring also. So now I'm going to pick three colors of green. I want a, a light, a medium, and a dark. Um, and I'm going to go blue-greens. So we're going to go light, medium, and then I'm going to call this my dark one. So over here, I'll color the greenery in the light first. Just kind of scribble. Then I'll take my medium color and just scribble here and there. And my dark color and just scribble. Now we'll put those down. And look at that. So now I'm gonna move these over. I'm gonna put the dark here and then we'll put in the light and it can even crisscross the other one that you've already done. Go back with my light color. A medium. And then my dark color. Simple as that. I think I will put another um, small one here. And then I'll put another small one there. And we'll just do the same. And you can make, you don't have to make these green. Let your imagination run wild. Make these any color as you want. You can even make them darker. You can even just color this a solid color. You don't have to mix and match. Um, but I really like the effect that it gives when you do the three colors. Okay, so we'll put these colors back. Let's see, see, this is why I marked them. Not, you don't have to keep them in order. It's just my brain likes things in order. See, there's 41 out of order and 42. Now I'm going to pick some um, oranges for my fish. Because I've got this bright orange that I'm using for the background. So I know I want this bright orange. Um, so I'm thinking I want this for my dark color, this for my medium color, and this for my light. I'll just set those aside. Now I'm going to take my scrap paper, well, not scrap paper, but my extra paper, and I'm going to color all three fish. I probably won't use all three fish. because the, the card is actually small. I have a terrible time telling which direction these fish are going looking at the fish in reverse. So I'm gonna color them up and then I'll die cut them out and pop them on the card in the direction that they're going, it's supposed to be going. I don't want an upside down fish on purpose, <coughs> excuse me, or even on accident, but 
pick out my light color. I'm gonna do some medium colors. Hit and miss on the fish. Now the darker color. I know I want a little bit of the darker color on the where the eyes are, and maybe just a few um, stripes down the side. But just scribble. All right, let's see how they come out. You can always add more color if you don't like how it turned out. Ooh, I do think I want them darker. So I am going to use my medium color all over the fish. They're beautiful, um, but I want them to match uh, my bright orange that I chose for my paper. Oh, I really like how those look. I think they would be too light to go on my blue background. So you just color over them. One nice thing about using the Misty stamping platform, you don't have to fiddly fudge with your placement using an acrylic block. If you don't get it stamped right the first time, I'm, you're, I'm not very good at stamping over it and getting it in the same place. So let's see. I'll pick this one for my medium color. And then my darker color. Though those are pretty. Let's see how these look now. That's better. That's the colors I wanted for my fish. All right, I'm just gonna put my colors back in. This is a nice kit. I wanna say I bought this five years ago at a scrapbooking convention, maybe even a little bit longer. Um, I don't see a date on this, um, but they have lasted forever. Let's clean these off a little bit. That's the color I wanted for my fish. Though the light was pretty, I love these orange fish. All right, and while we're here, I do want to stamp my sentiment. Now, all the stamping and coloring will be done. Okay, where's those little die cuts at? Little circle circles. I probably hid you under all my stamps here. Well, my goodness. All right, we'll come back to that. <laughs> we will come back to the circles. We're going to die cut these fish out now. I need to clean off my magnetic mat here. Okay. Now, I'm going to cut these fish apart. Oh, I'm, I'm quite pleased with the color of the fish. Now, the dies should be on the back of that envelope. And now I feel very unorganized. Let me pause you while I find my stamps. It's a good thing I paused when I did. Our power just went out. Um, so I'm hooked up to the generator and hopefully everything stays good here. Um, but the other lights in the room aren't on the generator so we might see them flash. Didn't you guys didn't tell me that my die cuts were right beside me. I had to figure out which fish these go to. I believe that's this one. Okay. 
All right, let, I'm going to put you on pause again because I just realized I have to hook up my die cutting machine to the generator. Just okay, as I'm back, everything's hooked up to the generator. I'm just going to double check. Have to love Northwestern Pennsylvania's electricity. It goes out quite a bit. All right, now I'm going to die cut these out. Okay, let's see how that. Oh, it actually came out fairly nice. I'm not always good at getting placement on these. Oh, but look at those fish. <laughs> I like them. Okay. Now, die cuts, you go back on here. Okay. I still do not locate my little circles I cut out. So I might have to do another circle here. They've got to be here on the desk. It didn't go anywhere. All right, let's put the fish back on. Here, and I need the other. Piece of greenery, it has stepped aside, but I did find my circles there over here. So I am going to stamp and get this going. Just that little saying is all I want on there. Just going to center it in my circle. And I'm using the VersaFine Claire in the color Nocturne. There we go. Clean that off. Well, looks like our power just came back on, so that's a good thing. I'll still keep things on the generator, though. You never know. And I'm going to put this back in here. Well. These back in here, and then once I locate the other stamp, I'll put it in there also. All right, we have the card base, the orange card front. Let's get that glued down. Leave this yes that goes nicely with the blue all right good and then this can go right down on top of that and these markers um, they're dry already uh, so you don't have to worry about smearing they dry really quickly, even on the, um, the glossy paper. You can use plain glossy paper, you can use plain paper. I just love the, the sheen of a gloss. Now I'm gonna take our sentiment and glue it to the back of the orange circle here. Don't know where I'm gonna put that yet. Possibly down here in this corner. But let's see where we want our fish and which direction they're going. I, want, I think I like this fish better, but he's going this way. And this, aha, there we go. All right, that's the placement of the fish. So I'm going to use uh, one eighth inch foam strips to pop this up a little bit. Don't want to go across a spot where it's going to be too narrow that you will see the tape through. So 
So it's going to be figuring out placement here for this. I want just a little piece there. So parts of the fish will be um, loose and free. And the other ones will be taped down. And I think I can get a little bit of these. All these pop-up dots are a little higher, so I don't want to use those. They have a different loft. I'll just use more of these strips. should do that. Let's see if I can get a teeny tiny piece for that one fin. Just a teeny piece. Oh, I think I did it. All right. Don't, oh, don't you stick. All right, so I want this one here. This one should be a little easier to get the foam on. It doesn't have as many frilly fins. easier. Okay. I went with these bright colors because I thought this could be, um, well, appropriate for someone who loves bright colors or even a, a, a child who likes fish and bright colors. And then I'm going to pop that up here. And at that, I'm using the foam dots because those have a little bit of a higher loft. Okay. And hoping all your... I'm going to angle this sentiment a little bit and then I have uh, these clear water drops and they I have them in various sizes so I thought I'd have like a, a few bubbles coming out of the fish so maybe we'll do two three we'll do five there going from tiniest if I can get them to turn over. We'll do three tiny and then a medium sized and then a larger size. Not the largest, but so we've got bubbles there. And then this one, I'm going to bring up um, one two, three bubbles. That'll be an even number, but you know, I'm okay with that. And uh, medium, and then the, and there we go. That's the card for today. I love these uh, local king Markers and her stamps and dies are just wonderful. It's a bright card. People will see that one coming. Um, but I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed the great, a great rest of your day. And I hope your power stays on wherever you're at. Thanks for watching. I took this small fish and I stamped it on an envelope so that I could have a matching envelope. And it took 
to the paper the envelope is made out of very well. 